In today's Daily Dose, we're talking about Botox. Okay, we've talked about that before, but this time we're talking about Botox and men. Dermatologists say the number of men getting cosmetic treatments is on the rise. Joining us now to talk more about that, Dr. Christopher Zachary, a professor in the Department of Dermatology at the University of California at San Francisco. Dr. Zachary, good morning. Hello, good morning. How are you? I'm doing great. I, I'm a little thrilled here to find out that we women aren't the only ones freaking out about the lines. Men are oh, freaking no, out too. We men are catching up, you know. <laughs> and and uh, now, indeed, I will be talking about a new trend uh, amongst uh, the male population in North America uh, with, with regard to cosmetic procedures. Uh, and, and this is at the scientific session of the American Academy of Dermatology meeting to be held in Washington, D.C. This, this Friday. This is when all the big mucky mucks get together and you're going to be talking about Botox, just like We're, when we girls get together. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, you, you know, the, the, the difference is uh, uh, the fact that, that uh, cosmetic procedures are, are not just skin deep. You know, that there are social and there are economic uh, implications are, of, of looking your best. And for instance, if you were in the, uh, the, the market for a new car uh, and you went down to the showroom th th this afternoon and there were two salesmen, nice guys, but one of them had a rather angry uh, appearance to their face and the, the other one was relaxed and calm uh, and very approachable, the chances are you, you, you'd go for the latter uh, person uh, to, to buy your car. And, and the same is true uh, if, you're, if you're a lawyer in front of a jury or a politician uh, hoping to be the next president in, in front of voters. Well, uh, there's, looking at yeah, well, there's that thing. There's been the suggestion that certain presidential candidates out there might have been using Botox, which we Absolutely. can't confirm or not confirm. Uh, no, I can't. I'm not, I'm not uh, uh, that, that individual's uh, physician. I couldn't right. comment any, anyway. But, but on the other hand, there's absolutely nothing wrong with, with looking your best. I mean, think about it. These guys are under intense scrutiny. Uh, or, what is it, nine of them are going around the country. They're tired. They're, they've been talking five, ten times a day. Uh, I, was, I wouldn't be surprised if they looked a little bit haggard by the end of the day. So anything that's going to help them, actually, will, will probably help them with votes. Well, let's talk about Botox. Do, does it help? Does it help, first of all, and does it affect men differently than it affects women? For instance, you have to inject more. Yeah, you, you, you do actually have to, have to inject a little bit more in, in men, and, and this is the whole point about Botulinum uh, toxin, or Botox Cosmetic, as, as it's called, the trade name is. Uh, you have to take every single individual uh, as that, an individual, and if they have more muscle, then they will require more units uh, of Botox. Botox is a purified protein and as such it just, it just relaxes muscles and it's very natural. And guys, they like to come in for a, a, a quick fix basically, something that's simple, effective, safe and, and very natural. So at the end of the day when they go home, uh, their colleagues or wives or whomever else don't, don't notice the fact that they've had anything done at all. What about the cost? The cost, you know, the cost for one area could range anywhere from $200 to maybe $400. So if, for instance, I have some angry lines down the middle of my, my in between my eyebrows, uh, that might cost you in San Francisco maybe $320, probably a little bit more in New York. Uh, but obviously it's an individual aspect of each physician. And uh, we're looking at a little before and after picture here of a, of a patient. Would I be out of line to ask, have you done it? Uh, you know what? I've never had I've never had Botox, but I but I wouldn't be averse to it, frankly. Uh, 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 having been brought up in Britain, I, I don't actually have have too many uh, too much sun damage, and I don't appear to have too many creases. But the fact is, uh, when when people have this done, they should really they should go to their dermatologist or any uh, a, a health professional, a physician who's actually been properly trained and get the right treatment. It's important. This is a medical procedure. It should not be done uh, in, in, a, in a, a, a hair salon or in a social gathering. It's a medical procedure and must be done properly. No back alley Botox. We'll take a vow. No way. A and no Dr. Way. Zachary, I don't mean to suggest you need it. You're looking great. <laughs> and you're <laughs> going to you do great at that conference and we appreciate the information on men and Botox. Well, thank you so much. You yeah. take care now. We'll have to have you back. Thank you so I'd much. I'd like that. Okay, care, Dr. Bye. Christopher Zachary from UC San Francisco.